you know, through it all, the pandemic and everything, somehow, some way, we have not missed one New Year's Eve service. Even during the pandemic, we opened up and had our New Year's Eve service. And for 24 years, y'all been hearing me sing, late in the midnight hour. 24 years, 24 years. We're going to 25. Y'all tired of the song? God's gonna turn it around and around and around and around and around. Just look at somebody and say, this is a turnaround year for me. This is going to be a turnaround year for me. Late in the midnight hour. Oh yeah, by the time we hit the midnight hour, y'all going to leave some stuff in your past and go into your future with a rebound, with a revive, with a God's going to turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Because do it all, 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 do it all. I was still blessed, blessed, blessed. Come on, I was, I'm still, I am, yeah. Blessed, I am, you are, we are blessed, blessed. Oh. Blessed, we're blessed for 24 years. I'm still here. We can sickness and poverty, but the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Everybody say, Bless, bless. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor. Touch me so you can know what blessed feel like. Touch me so you can know what blessed feel like. I am, you are, we are, I am, yeah. We're blessed. We're blessed. We're blessed. Here we are. Here we are. We can see this in poverty. But the devil is the the fear. Yeah. Oh, later in the midnight hour, God's going to turn it around. He's going to work in your favor. Do you believe it? Say it with me. Later in the midnight hour, God's going to turn it around. Yeah. He's going to work in your favor. I can't hear y'all if you believe it. Later. God's gonna turn it around. He's gonna work. Oh yes, he is. Oh yes, he is. Late. He's gonna turn it around. In 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 around. My money. He's turning it. My honey. He's turning it. My job, he's turning it. My business, he's turning it. My health, he's turning it. My home, he's turning it. My family, he's turning it. My music, he's turning it. Yeah, 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 yeah. In around, in around, in around, in around, in around. Scream like he's already turned around. scream and give God a great big 2022 about to be 2023 praise right now yeah 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 Woo! yeah I know we still 
still in protocol time. But find five people in your area. Give them a high five and say, this is my turnaround year. This is my turnaround year. This is, this is, yeah. Oh, when I think of his goodness, and all that he's done for me. Yeah! Oh, I just had my last broke day. I just had my last tear. I just had my last stress. Oh, Y'all give God about 23 seconds of praise right there. One, two, one, two, three. Let me see your praise. Gotta praise him all day long. Gotta praise him all night long. Gotta praise him up or down. Gotta praise him inside or out. Yeah! the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the morning, in the noonday, all day long. Praise him, yeah. Praise him, yeah. Praise him, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise him, praise him. 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 Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Come on! Hallelujah! 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 you take your seat say neighbor. neighbor look at your name look at your name and say neighbor in 2022 the devil left me for dead but hallelujah I'm still here I'm still here I'm about to step into a new year he said dead but God said live and not die live and not die Come on, give the Lord a great big praise. We getting ready to go in. Y'all sit down real quick. Sit down real quick. Y'all gotta, gotta get me. I didn't got too excited up here, mama. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God gave me a vision for 2023. And it's just about an hour away. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Say it again, hallelujah. It's just about an hour away. Listen, we're going to do a lot of things in the next hour. Somebody say hallelujah. God gave me two words. One I'm going to share tonight as much as I can, and the other one I'm going to share tomorrow. God says, in this season, I'm going to get you through a couple of things. Tonight I'm going to tell you how to get through your valley. Uh, Tomorrow I'm going to tell you why God put you in the valley in the first place. Somebody say hallelujah. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Is there anybody that feel like they've been through a valley the last three years? 
Anybody feel like they've been through a valley the last two years? Anybody feel like they've been through a valley the last year? Anybody feel like last week? Somebody say hallelujah. Well, we're going to preach about that in a minute, but I want to, I got to do several things before we close out this year. I want to receive a seed that launches you into 2023. I want to receive a seed. Now listen. Starting next Wednesday, I'm going to do a four-part teaching on supernatural wealth. Listen to me. It's a workshop that God gave me on Wednesday nights. I'm going to supplant my normal Bible study to tell you all four sets of principles about supernatural wealth. Um, I've been struggling with my finances for years and years and years. And uh, God always made a way. But anybody ever been in a situation where you feel like life was like just enough? Any just enough people in here? Like, you don't know how you got it, but you got through it. But it was just enough. Any just enough people in here? Like, boy, whew, I made that one. And, and any, I just made it. Like, they, they was pulling off on the boat and you just, that, that, that was your just enough season. And I, I lived in that season for a long time financially. And I was doing the things of God. I had good jobs at that time, working at IBM, and then started the ministry. We built this ministry from the ground up from my living room. And God has prospered and blessed us through this and through it all. But for years, it was just enough. And it was always feeling like I'm struggling, struggling. And God showed me something I tapped into, and within six months, I had saved $50,000. Now, this is after years and years of just enough, just enough. I'm going to talk to you about some principles, supernatural wealth over the next four weeks on Wednesday night. Do not miss that. As a matter of fact, do not be late because I'm going to do that on the first half of the teaching. Plus, I'm going to be blessing somebody every week. Somebody say, with what? You're going to have to show up and find out. Every Wednesday, every Wednesday for the first four weeks of this, this new year. But what I want you to do is I want you to plant a seed for this year now. My seed is a supernatural seed. I've been doing this now for the last couple of years, is sowing a number commiserate with the year that I was going in. So tonight I'm about to sow 2023. That's what I'm going to sow tonight. That, that's my sacrifice, and I'm going to give my seed. There are several of you that are going to sow two, two, three. I don't want to tell everybody else what to do, but listen up. Y'all got those, those index cards? I want to hand you all an index card because tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. I'm going to start 21 days of prayer. For 21 days of going in and consecration and prayer, I want to pray over the thing that you're believing God for the most in 2023. So these index cards that I'm passing out, and if you don't want one, that's fine. You're good. You got it all together. That's fine. But everybody that wants one, I want you to take one of these index cards. I want you to write down the thing that you're believing God for the most. And before we leave here, I need to get that from you because I'm going to be praying over them for 21 straight days. For 21 straight days, I'm going to be interceding. I'm going to be praying. As a matter of fact, at the start of the week, I'm going to fast for three straight days. And throughout that 21 days, I'm going to be spending various times fasting. Before you leave here, if you got something that you need God to move in your area, in your life, supernaturally, hallelujah, I'm going to ask you to put that request on this index card and get it to me before we close tonight. I'm going to pray over it. I'm going to challenge some of you to join me in that prayer, and we're going to give you the information on how to join me in that prayer for 21 days. Now, this is not an oh-by-the-way prayer. This is a sacrificial prayer. You're going to actually have to get up and pray with me at 6 a.m. Even though we'll be on Facebook, I think there's something wrong with our YouTube channel, but we will be on Facebook. We also will be on the prayer line. I'm going to give you that information to those that want to join me. But if you have something... Now, y'all need to listen to me right now. You need something, God, to move in an area of your life. Hallelujah. I need you to put it on that index card. I need to get that. I need to get that. But speaking of the seed, there are 52 people that can sow 223 tonight. 
everybody else, I want you to show at least one dollar for every year, every month, I'm sorry, every month of next year, every week, 52. Somebody say 52. Say it again. I can't hear you. 52. I don't know who's going to be sowing with me tonight, but I'm believing God for the supernatural. He gave me the vision. It comes in three. Rebuild, revive, and restore. That's what this year coming up is about. Rebuild, revive, and restore. What are you trusting God for? What are you believing God for? For now, 24 years, I've been coming here, meeting you all in this. And, and when I first started, I was in a storefront. Hallelujah. Uh, we moved to schools. Uh, we moved to office complexes. But every time, this time of the year, I was in the house of the Lord, trusting and believing God. And he's walked with me and showed me. Now, I'm going to bring somebody into some supernatural wealth in this new year because you're going to follow the instructions that God has given me. He showed me some things. I'm going to show everybody, everybody in here that's under 35, raise your hand. Everybody in here that's under 35, raise your hand. Listen, I need you specifically. Do not miss these four sessions because I'm going to show you. I don't care how much money you make how to become a millionaire before you retire. I don't care what job you have. Some of y'all waiting on job. You don't need to wait on no job. You just need to follow God's instructions. I'm going to show you how to become a millionaire in one of those sessions. Um, I'm going to show you that. These are supernatural instructions that God has given me. Everybody that's going to show, I got to move quickly. I'm already three minutes over. Um, put up the ways to give. We're going to do this real quickly. We're going to do this Hallelujah, in just one minute, in one minute, in one minute, in one minute. You've already decided what you're going to do, so I don't need to uh, uh, push you. 52 people that can sow 223. I want you to get that right now. 223. This is going to be life-changing this year. This seed that you're about to sow is going to be life-changing. 52 people that can sow that. Get that together real quickly, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly. One thing I do know this, that in order to get what you've never had, you, sometimes you got to do something you've never done. In order to get a harvest you've never had, you got to plant a seed that you've never sown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to get this done. I'll say it in five minutes. Real quickly, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly. Those of you that can sow that two, two, three, and most of our... Members know that we do this every year. We believe God. We trust God with that. Those of you that can sow that with me tonight, the Lord has prospered. I already, I already know that because I've heard the testimonials. I've heard the testimonials. Those that can sow that first seed with me, will you stand with me? Those that can sow that first seed with me tonight, will you stand with me? Thank you. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. You can sow that seed of two, two, three. Stand real quickly, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly. You can sow two, two, three. I felt in my spirit, because we are believing God for a blessing every month, every week of this new year. Many of you all are standing. Stand real quickly. Everybody else, I want you to get as close as a seed of $52. But don't miss the first seed that I'm asking you all to sow. Those of you that can do it, I see leaders standing. I see members standing. I see saints standing. I can sow two, two, three. Two, two, three. So it real quickly. We're going to trust God. Hallelujah. I got one more minute. Everybody, get your best seed. I can sow 52, one dollar for every month of this coming year. Will you please stand with me quickly? Will you please stand with me quickly? Stand with me real quickly. Stand with me real quickly. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Who's standing? Who's standing? Who's standing with me? I'm going to sow this. Hallelujah. I got 40 seconds real quickly. We're going to move judiciously with our time. I got a word from the Lord. Everybody else, get your best seat and stand with us quickly. All the ways to give. If you need an envelope, hold your hands up. The ushers will get you an envelope. Uh, real quickly, you can text to give. Go to our website, victoriouspraise.org slash giving. 
or you can use our mobile app, which is what I encourage everybody to do. Can everybody stand? Because I want to speak a word of blessings over everyone's life. I want to speak a word of blessing over everybody's life. Everybody's going into this new year blessed, highly favored, anointed, ready for this new season. We're trusting God today. Get that seed together. Hallelujah. Where's Sister Parker at? Ask her if she can give me a three-minute shamanic selection. Everybody, take your seed real quickly. Hold that up in your right hand. Hold that up quickly. Ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. I don't see my tea for some reason. Hold that hand up real quickly. However you're giving, hold that up. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this final seed of 2023. Lord, many have heard the call, the clarion call of the pastor. Lord, I know what you gave me. I know what you intend for your people to walk into in 2023. My last broke day. My last struggle day. My last just is enough day. In the matchless name of Jesus, Lord, as we give out of a spirit of obedience, as we release this, I ask you to multiply in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Lord, let this be a seed with a quick turnaround in 2023. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. If you have an envelope, hold it up. The ushers will receive it from you. Sister Parker, can you give me something real quick? Hallelujah. Y'all praise God for our dynamic recording artist, Marchetta Parker. Y'all praise God for her as she comes forward. Praise the Lord, everybody. Aren't we glad that we're almost to a, through another year? And we know that God has been watching us and taking care of us, even through the pandemic. God, we thank you and we bless his name. Why should I feel discouraged? And why? Should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home? For Jesus. My portion A constant friend Is he His eyes Is on The sparrow And I Yeah. <laughs> 
Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come to these final minutes of this year, we thank you in advance for what you're going to do next year. We thank you, Lord, for what you've already done this year. Lord, now give me a word that takes us over. Bless, touch, heal, deliver, and set us free. Satan, you are already defeated. God is exalted, and Jesus is Lord of all. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Um, in addition to my 21 days of prayer, those of you going to be joining me, I want you to take a vial of oil that we have. I'm going to be talking about that oil in the morning. Uh, those of you that are going to be on the prayer line with me. Uh, and some things, instructions I'm going to be giving you to do with the oil. Uh, we're going to be following my teaching on the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. We have a daily devotional um, that we've made available to you. We're going to be following that for the next 21 days. It's going to be some special instructions on various days and things that I want you to do with the oil. So as I anoint you tonight as you're leaving, I want you to take a vial of oil with you, those of you that are going to be joining me. Um, I know many of you use our YouTube page, but right now that's not working, so you can either uh, give us, uh, use the phone line, or you can join us on Facebook, and I don't know if they have that information in the back, the, um, the, the prayer phone line. Uh, I don't know if that's on the flyer or not. To those of you that would like to join me in the morning at 6 uh, for that 21 days of prayer. Or you can go to our church Facebook page um, as I will be streaming live there. Ezekiel 37, Psalms 23. Ezekiel 37, Psalms 23. We're just going to read the first three verses of Ezekiel 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. Let me thank God for our preachers on tonight. Oh, no, y'all need to praise God. We got some mighty preachers that really blessed us. Minister, where she at? Ebony Williams. Come on, stand up, darling. Hallelujah. Minister Ashley Bailey, come on, daughter, stand up. These are some preaching machines. Uh, Elder Robert Hostler, come on, stand up. God bless you, Elder. Uh, Evangelist Renee Fisher, she's probably somewhere working. There she is in the back. Hallelujah. Handling the ushers and hospitality. And uh, Elder Lawrence Flowers, come on, praise God for him. We praise God for these awesome tremendous preachers uh, and we have a great list of preachers y'all I'm telling you um, and we're training others and so we got a long deep bench that I'm excited about Ezekiel 37 the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, thou knowest. Some of us got a lot of dry bones. Now, if you see a bone, but it's dry, that means it's been dead for a minute. Y'all ain't working with me. Some of us got some, 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 not just, you know, collapse stuff. You got some stuff that's been like, you know what? <laughs> that, that's been dead for a minute right there. Psalms 23, you all know it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepareth a table before me in the presence of my enemies. 
Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise God for my mother being with us on tonight. <laughs> Supervisor Martha Nichols out of Michigan, jurisdiction. My dear sister, I know I saw her somewhere. There she is, evangelist, uh, uh, Cheryl. Uh, let me get it right. Harris? Okay. She just got married. I just married her. So she's still technically a newlywed, but she's a preaching machine, and uh, we thank God for her. The theme for 2023, I already told y'all, write this down. Put it on the, put, actually put it on your index card as well. Rebuild, revive, restore. Rebuild, revive, restore. To take us into this new year, I'm going to go to the second part of that theme, which is revive. Revive is a verb. It is defined as restore to life or consciousness. Give new strength or energy. Improve the position or condition of. It is translated from the Hebrew word shaka, which means to live, have life, remain alive, sustain life, live prosperously. To be quickened, to be restored to life. Does anybody, I know some of y'all just found church, but anybody that grew up in church remember revival services? Do I have any Pope remember any like three-day, five-day revivals? And then some of y'all had them deep preachers. They'd be like, put you on the two-week revival. Like, okay, for real, pastor? We got to come every day, Saturday night, too? I know some of y'all had them preachers. They'd be like, God said, keep going. So we just kept going. Revival. Now, now, now. The purpose of the revival was interesting. It would normally involve a guest speaker to come and revive the church. We kind of gotten into a place of complacency. We kind of got into this mode of doing the same thing, hearing the same preaching, the same, you know, some people, they do the same shout every Sunday. You know, we already know. We just, we just had this one song Sister Parker used to sing. Uh, I think it was Right Now God or something like that. And every time we sung it, one of the members right there, she'd be standing right there. I said, she's going to shout. As soon as we get to that verse right there. And she, every time, we sung it five times, she'd shout right there on that part five times. And, and, and so you kind of get into this complacency mode. And so we would, we would have a revival. It's designed to revive you, to bring life back. Sometimes it would be a prophet. And the prophets back in our days was different than the prophets these days. See, y'all like it when we bring prophets these days because they tell you about your new man, your new mansion, your new house, your new money. But the prophets back in our day, they tell you about your old mess. And they put you in line and it, all the way up on line, you be asking God, forgive me, Jesus. Forgive me, Lord. Yep, that right there, Lord, forgive me because I don't want them to put my mess out on the street. Because that prophet will... Rev I'm the only one that grew up like that. So this revival was designed to revive the church, also revive the community. We bring fresh people out and new people out, we get saved. And so we go from revive, which is a noun, to revival. Revive, which is a verb, to revival, which is an improvement of the condition or strength of something, an instance of something being active or important again. Sometimes we lose the importance of what we do. A lot of people, we allowed the pandemic to let us forget about why we come together in the first place. To reawaken our religious and spiritual fervor. The restoration of physical, emotional, and spiritual vigor or strength. The restoration of life or consciousness. And in Psalms 85, and you can read uh, starting at verse 1, but I'll read verse uh, uh, six, he says, will thou revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee? The next several weeks, and especially these next two messages, today and tomorrow, I really want you all to get into what it means to be revived again. Revive us again. Uh, revive us. Tomorrow, I want to talk to you about your dry bones, your dry bones. 
But today I want to talk about where your bones are, which is in the valley. The valley. David says and called it the valley of the shadow of death. A valley is interesting because it represents a low place. Now, if there is a low place, there is also a high place. Now, a valley, if you all watch them old Western movies, uh, was the typical place where you could be ambushed. Ninja preach right there. And so while you have to go through that valley, your enemy will be camped up on the hill or the mountain. Uh, and at a certain point, you can become ambushed. I've got, I think i got some people in here that know about what it means to be ambushed. You didn't see that one coming. You was just walking through the valley and skipping through the valley and you got an ambush. Preach right there. That low place uh, 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 is a perfect place when you are low, when you are down. It's a perfect place for you to be ambushed, taken advantage of. David said, my own familiar friend whom did eat at my table has lifted up his heels. I was down. I was in a low place. Since the valley was filled in our lesson text with dry bones, clearly a lot of people been there and a lot of people didn't make it out. He said it was, it didn't just have some bones, in it. it was full. A lot of people had been through this same valley and they didn't make it out. Let me say it again. A lot of people have been in this same valley, but they didn't make it out because their bones are dry. God says in our lesson text that he carried me to this valley. Three points real quickly in the next 15 minutes. A message is revival for your valley, carrying us through it. Revival for the valley, carrying us through it. It's a revival year. This is going to be revival. Y'all need to listen to me. Carrying us through it. Let me, let me talk about three things real quickly. Carrying us to the valley, carrying us through the valley and carrying us out of the valley. Somebody say to the valley. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. The low place. Perfect place to be attacked and ambushed. Why would God take me there? Why would God take you there? Out of all the places you can take me, why would you put me in the valley? Which I already told you was a dark place, a hurtful place, a painful place, a place of perfect ambush and attack. Clearly, we know it because we see a lot of people never made it out. Full of bones. Ezekiel didn't just randomly end up there. He was carried there. God took him there. Isn't it interesting that we, when we end up in the valley, people presume that we must have made a wrong turn or did something wrong? Boy, that part. When you go through stuff and people see stuff happening to you, they, they just like Job's friends. You had to do something, Job. Now look, look. You, you just didn't get the directions right. God called me. Yeah, but why are you in the valley? I'm anointed, but why are you in the valley? Because if you was anointed, it seemed like you should be on the mountaintop. If you were called, why would God call you to the dark place, to the low place? Boy, I preach right here. And so people assume when they see you in the valley, you did something wrong. You made a bad turn. But God said, he carried me and put me in the middle of it. You know what? Not only do people think that about us, <laughs> I'm going to preach by myself. 
you start second guessing yourself. Well, maybe I did get it wrong. Maybe I did, Jude, miss a turn. I know I heard God, but maybe I just, you know, scrambling this phone. I have, you know, I, I got AT&T, one of them Androids, and the phone didn't. <laughs> so you'd had iPhone. Okay, stop, Pastor Will. Maybe I did get something wrong, and after all, isn't the Lord my shepherd? And I shall not want? Why would he put me in the middle of a valley? He knew that everybody else in there was messing up and got dead bones. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still water. These are all good things, Sister Ebony. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. That's all good stuff. And then he just takes this turn and says, yea, though. So now I'm confused because the same God that's leading me in the green pastures and the still waters and the restoring of my soul is leading me now into this valley. Yea, though I walk, this is the same scripture, the same section, the same God. We prayed that God would order our steps. Am I talking to anybody? Order my steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Well, some of y'all feeling like, well, maybe I need to, you know, somebody malpractice up in here. My shepherd ain't leading me so good. I was praying for God to lead me, and this is where I ended up at. Am I ministering to anybody or am I wasting y'all time? And he started out with green pastures and good taste and water and restoring. And how did I end up here? How, 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 after doing all of this, did I end up here? How did I end up here? How did I end up here? The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. And so since you're in the death of valley huh? something must be wrong huh? because God can't delight huh? in you being in the valley of death huh? God can't delight God says if you're a good man huh? I'm going to lead you huh? the steps of a good man huh? are ordered by the Lord huh? and if I'm in this dark place huh? how can God delight in that huh? if God is ordering my steps and leading me into the uh, 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 in the valley huh? how could he get delight in this huh? oh uh, preach uh, in this place. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, pastor's coming for you uh, because uh, y'all always talk about your Jesus and your Lord and Christ. Uh, and the Bible calls him the author uh, and the finisher of our faith. Uh, well, God said, uh, see, I, I often think about uh, what really pleases God. The Bible says in Isaiah uh, where it says he was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. Uh, the chastisement of our peace is upon him and with his stripes we are healed. Uh, well, a few verses later, the Bible says, yet it pleased God to take Jesus through this. Uh, it pleased God. Uh, oh, somebody uh, say hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. It pleased God uh, for him to go through that grief. Uh, the answer uh, to why uh, would God lead us uh, into this valley uh, uh, can be found uh, in Isaiah 53 and 10, the B clause. Uh, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, uh, he shall see his seed and shall prolong his days uh, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hands uh, it was because uh, there was some bones uh, in the valley uh, that you were led to uh, that you were sent there uh, to deliver out oh y'all ain't working with me uh, Jesus uh, didn't just get crucified uh, he came to the valley uh, where all of our dry bones uh, were just piling up uh, dead after dead dry after 
dry. And Jesus said, send me. I'll go. And when he went, he went to the low place where he would be ambushed. I'm preaching in here. Y'all act like I'm not preaching. Somebody has to go to the valley. I'm a preach right here. See, a lot of us ended up in the valley and couldn't figure out how to get out. Because if I went left, I got attacked. If I went right, I got attacked. And so we set up a tent. We set up and stayed in the valley full of sin. And we couldn't figure out how to get out. We tried making sacrifices with cows and sacrifices with this. And we still, I'm preaching up in this place, and we still couldn't get out. And so God took Jesus and sent him to our valley and made him a sacrifice so that we, I'm going to preach in this place, can these dry bones, boy, right there. I'm going to talk about the bones tomorrow, but God needs somebody. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, this valley is full and God needs somebody to go see about them dry bones. I'm going to preach in this place. See, some of y'all didn't stumble in the valley. God sent you to the valley. Some of y'all didn't make a mistake and fall over the mountain and into the valley. God sent you there. Everybody is running from the valley. They think the valley is contagious. I don't want nothing to do with that. They think the valley got a disease because everything I see in there is dead. And so, am I preaching in this place? Was there anybody in here that ever had something happen to you and then your friends disappeared because they thought what happened to you was contagious and they didn't want to catch it? Can I preach to five people up in here? Have you ever had somebody who was your close friend but when you ended up in a valley situation all of a sudden they didn't return your call? They didn't call for you? You called them, they wouldn't answer? Hallelujah, you said they just sent me to voicemail and you know they did. I'm preaching in here. Oh, preach, Pastor Will, preach. Why? Because they feel like what you got, I don't want to get. What you got is contagious and I don't want to catch it. And so everybody, while everybody else is running from the valley, God got so many bones in there that he's got to send someone to the valley. But people are saying, I don't want to catch that. I don't want to catch that disease. I don't want to catch that cancer. I don't want to catch that COVID. And so they run from it. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God needs somebody to go to the valley and speak to them dry bones. God, y'all ain't going to work with me in here. Hallelujah. Look around in your valley and see, don't you see, some bones up in there. And God needs somebody to prophesy to the dry bones. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God carried you to the valley. But now let's just keep going. I got a few more minutes. Not only did he carry me to the valley, but he carried me through it. Somebody say through the valley. He said in verse 2, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many. Oh, there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry God didn't just take him to the valley he passed him through it. Uh, mm, preach. I, I, I love Elder Johnson. He's been one of my key evangelists and he's really been instrumental in our evangelism ministry. But one thing I learned about evangelism ministry is we go to the valley. You know what? We go to the valley and we take food. We go to the valley and we take clothes. We go to the valley and we minister. We go to the valley and we preach. But as soon as it get dark, we catching the first thing out of there. Okay, y'all ain't working with me. When it get dark, we catching the first thing moving. So we go to the valley. But we don't really go through. Oh, I'm going to preach in this place. Mm. Ah, ah, hallelujah. See, we go to the valley for a day trip. 
We go to the valley for a, a do good. Uh, preach right here. Uh, but sometimes uh, God's put you in the valley for a prolonged period of time. Uh, oh, preach. Uh, he'll put you in it because there, uh, all of you've been there so long. Uh, and sometimes some of y'all uh, have been in the valley so long, you feel like God didn't forget about you. Uh, oh, preach right here. Uh, you missed all the cars, all the trains going out. Uh, you missed all the buses uh, and now you can't seem to get out. Uh, you feel like you've been left in the valley. Uh, can I preach the three people that have been like, feel like they've been left? Uh, Lord, I've been here for years. I've been here for years. Uh, some of you have perhaps heard uh, of the poem Footprints in the Sand. To summarize it, this man said, I had a dream in which I was walking along the beach with the Lord. Uh, at various scenes of my life flashed before me. Uh, I noticed two sets of footprints in the saying. Uh, however, during some of the darkest, lowest, and saddest moments of my life, uh, I only noticed one set of footprints in the sand. Uh, so I said to the Lord, uh, why during some of my worst times of my life, uh, when I needed you the most, uh, you weren't there? Uh, he said, God whispered to me uh, and said, my precious child, uh, I love you and I will never leave you. Uh, during your trials, uh, the reason why you only saw one set of footprints uh, was because I was carrying uh, you. Uh, see, I know some of you feel like you've been lost in the valley, uh, left in the valley, uh, but God put you in the valley. Uh, and when everybody else left, uh, God said, I'm still here. Uh, hallelujah. He said, I will never uh, leave you nor forsake you. Uh, and the reason why, uh, even though I'm putting you through the valley, uh, even though you're stuck in in the valley. Uh, you have a prolonged life in the valley. Uh, David put it like this. Uh, Yea, though I walk through the valley uh, of the shadow of death, uh, I will fear uh, no evil. Y'all gonna preach with me tonight? Uh, Y'all gonna help me tonight? Uh, because thou art with me uh, and thy rod uh, and thy staff, uh, they comfort me. Uh, see, saints, I need y'all to understand. Uh, we don't just get uh, to go to the valley. Uh, some of us got to go through it. Uh, somebody scream, I got to go through this. Uh, I can't just visit it for a day trip. Uh, I can't just visit it uh, for the daytime. Uh, I can't just visit it uh, for a few minutes. Uh, I can't just visit it uh, for a month season. Uh, see, some of y'all have already decided uh, when your season in the valley is over. Uh, oh, Lord, but we don't uh, have no fear uh, in the valley. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, I'm in it uh, and I've been in it, uh, but I will not have no fear of it. Uh, somebody say why? Uh, because God is with me uh, and he's carrying two bit sticks. Uh, Y'all ain't going to work with me. Uh, first, God has uh, a rod. Uh, somebody say a rod uh, the rod represents correction uh, see sometimes uh, when you've been in that valley uh, you'll stumble and try to find your own way out uh, I'm preaching in here uh, but God's got a rod uh, of correction uh, that will say no baby you can't take the quick way out uh, no you can't cheat your way out uh, and he's got that rod uh, that'll tap you a little bit uh, and get you right back in the valley uh, who am I preaching to that said I thought I was out but look like I got pulled right back in that's because it wasn't time for you to get out you didn't go through what I needed you to go through look at your neighbor and say neighbor other people cheat but God won't let you cheat your way out of this can I preach to five people that I would all say why I gotta go through this why they cheat it, they cheat it, 
this one got to answer cheat cheat but I gotta go through it is there anybody here that ever felt like why can't I cheat out why can't I just quit why can't I just not go to church why can't I just not be holy they cheated but God was with me with the rod of correction and he said we'll get your behind back up in there get your behind back up in there somebody ought to be hollering right now cause God got a rod of correction well well he's got another stick and that stick is the staff somebody say hallelujah and that is the staff of protection see I know you think I've heard people say if I don't get out of this I'm gonna die but look at your neighbor and say neighbor you can't die cause the bones are still there you can't die cause there's still work to do you can't because I put you in there with a purpose oh Lord and so God will send me to stay in the valley to go through the valley because some things you can't just have a day trip but you got to spend some time to have compassion and to have mercy on the bones you're dealing with it's one thing to take somebody a piece of fish but sometimes God will leave you there so he can teach you to teach them how to fish y'all still ain't working with me y'all still ain't working with me and so the Bible says we have not a high priest who is not touched with the feelings of our infirmities but was in all points tempted as we were in other words Jesus didn't just come to our valley but he stayed 33 long years he had to be touched with the challenges of our valley touched with the problems of our valley touched with the betrayal in our valley touched with being falsely accused touched with being crucified touch with being betrayed touch with all of his disciples walking out on him touch with having a church with 5,000 people only to walk away after one sermon y'all ain't gonna work somebody say preach pastor but because he stayed he stayed in the valley he stayed he didn't just show up but he lived in it he walked in it he felt it he was persecuted in it he was whipped in it he was betrayed in it and so and so when he see your bones he don't look at you and say what's wrong with you when he see your bones he don't say you can do better than this but God says that yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil because my God knows about my evil my God knows about my pain when I trip he knows why I tripped when I fall he knows why I fail he knows what I've been through cause he lived in it he breathed it he was born in it he walked in it he got hurt in it so when I hurt God don't give up on me when I fall God don't give up on me cause he was touched by the same thing and so when I screw up God don't destroy me in my valley even if my bones are dry he don't give up on me but the Bible says it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not 
consumed. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, say, oh, neighbor, my bones might be dry, but God didn't let it kill me. I still got something on the inside of me. I almost quit. I almost gave up, but God came in the valley full of dry bones and looked at me and said, can this dry bone live? Can your dry bone live? Can your deal with sin bones live? Can your hurt bones live? Somebody scream and praise him. Scream and praise him. God said, I didn't throw you out because I knew that you still had life. I knew that you still had purpose. And I gave you new mercies, new praises. I didn't tear you apart. I didn't throw you away because I got mercy. Somebody, anybody, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, somebody got to go through the valley. Somebody got to go through for your family. Got to go through for your children. Got to go through for your community. Got to go through for your job. Don't give up. Don't quit. Go through it. Go through it. Go through it. Scream. Praise him. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody. Anybody that feel like they've been in a valley, get on your feet. Feel like for a year I've been in this valley. For two years, I've been trapped in the valley. For three years, I've been going through the valley. I don't know about you. But I feel, oh Lord, sometimes I get tired. Is there anybody in here that feel like sometimes I'm just tired of the valley? I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm sick, and I'm tired. I'm tired of being broke, tired of not getting the breakthrough, tired of not feeling happy, Tired of being a day late and a dull day, a day late and a dollar short. Tired of trying to make ends meet where my folk at. Tired of just barely making it. Tired of always trying to figure it out. How to rub two nickels together and make it work. And I'm preaching to somebody in here that's been in that valley and you just feel tired. And if you're going to be honest tonight, just wave your hand and say, Pastor, preach to me right now. Preach to my valley. Preach to me. Well, the Bible says, and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, Oh Lord, thou knowest. Oh God, you know it. I find it interesting that God can carry us to the valley and say, prophesy uh, to your dead situation. Uh, then God carries us through the valley uh, so that we can have mercy uh, on the dry bones. Uh, but finally, uh, if God didn't carry me to it uh, and he didn't carry me through it, uh, he's going to carry me out of it. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, he which hath uh, begun a good work in you uh, shall perform it. Uh, God ain't going to drop you off. Uh, and leave you there if he brought you to it if he took you through it he's going to bring you out of it we are not just in the valley to get to it or to go through it hallelujah we may have been tested 
in the valley. But let me tell you something. That test wasn't just about you passing your test. Every valley has a test. We are tried. Oh, Lord. We went through tribulations. Oh, yeah. And some of y'all are saying, Lord, haven't I passed the test yet? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the purpose of the test is not just to pass it. The purpose of the test is not just to pass it. The purpose of the valley is not just to get through it. The purpose of the valley is not just to say, I made it. I made it through. But you got to remember, why did I put you in the valley in the first place? I didn't put you in the valley because you messed up. I didn't put you in the valley because you made a wrong turn. I put you in the valley because there were some people stuck in the valley that didn't know how to get out. So I put you in there. I sent you through it. I let you go through it. I tested you in it. But when you pass, that don't mean you leave. When you pass, that means that your test has got another level. What is that? That level, that level is to turn your test into a testimony. Why do I need my test to become a testimony? So that the dry bones can look at you. The dry bones can say, if you can make it, I can make it. If you can get up, I can get up. God says, I'm testing you to give you a testimony because God said and they overcame them by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony look at your neighbor and say neighbor do you have your 2022 testimony do you have the hell you've been through this year testimony do you have i once was lost but now i'm found testimony what is your 20 22 testimony because that's the thing that's gonna bring you out and bring others out with you look at your name and say name god Prepare the table in the presence of your enemies. Oh, Lord, while I was in it, I still ate. While I was going through it, he still kept me. While they was plotting against me, he still protected me. While I was down, God wouldn't let it kill me. He said, live and not die. Oh, Lord, in the next four minutes, I want you to think about your 20, 22 testimony. Think about what you've been through that tried to kill you. Stand on your feet and give God a testimony. Speak your testimony. Speak it right now. Say, Lord, if it had not been for you on my side, where would I be? I could have died, but I'm still here. I could have lost my mind, but I got peace. I could have lost my happiness, but I got joy. I still got a praise. I still got a hallelujah. I got a testimony. Everybody speak your testimony. Speak your testimony. Speak it. Speak it. Somebody needs to hear it. God said, prophesy to these dry bones. Tell them how good God's been to you. Take 30 seconds and tell your neighbor your testimony right now. Tell somebody. Come on, look at somebody and tell them what he done. I 
can't hear you. Did anybody get an increase? Tell somebody. Did anybody fall down and get back up again? Tell somebody. Did anybody feel like you were going to lose it, but you didn't lose it? Tell somebody. Tell somebody. Two minutes left. Two minutes to take this testimony into the new year. God says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in, I shall dwell in. The house of the Lord. Look at your name. We getting ready to shout. Keep it going, babe. But look at your name and say, neighbor, because goodness and mercy is following me. I can't stay in the valley all my life because I got to get to the house of the Lord. If goodness and mercy is following me, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Somebody say one more minute. Somebody say one more minute. God gave me a one minute word for you. What is that one minute? God said, while you were in the valley, while you were struggling, while you were turning your test into your testimony, I was preparing you. I was giving you more anointing. 2023 is the year of more anointing. 2023 is the year of more blessings. 2023 is the year of more healing. 2023, I ain't coming out, but I'm bringing my family out. I'm bringing my children out. I'm anointed. I'm blessed. Oh, Lord. Thanks. Scream, I'm out of here. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. And I'm stepping in to a new year, a new season, a new victory, a new healing. Somebody jump up and praise God. Somebody jump up and praise God. New healing, let me hear you scream. New victory, let me hear you scream. God's carrying us out. God's carrying you out, sister. You out, brother. God's gonna carry you through it, to it, and out of it. Find 
find somebody next to you and grab them by the hand and look at that neighbor and say, neighbor, God put me in your life to help you come out of this and say he put you in my life to help me come out of this. Uh, now look at him and say, now let's go out of it. Uh, let's go out of it. Uh, let's come out of it. Uh, let's go into our new season. New anointing. New blessing. Uh, new healing. Uh, I'm coming out. Yeah. Hallelujah, I can't hear y'all. Praise him for your new season. Praise him for your new year. He brought you in it, and he's going to take you out of it. He put you in it, and he's going to pull you out of it. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. For 2023 being a financial breakthrough year. I know I got to anoint some other people for 2023 being the year of total healing in your body. There's some people I got to anoint about your soul and brokenness. Your soul in 2022 was, you got through it, but you got through it with sorrow and pain. You got through it with a crushed spirit. But I want you to know, God didn't forget about you. God knew about your crushed soul, your crushed spirit. And the Bible lets me know that God, oh my God, is a part of that. He blesses a crushed, broken spirit. Oh! There was five people, as I was preaching, I saw the Holy Ghost falling upon you because this word ministered to you directly. Run up here real quick. Run up here real quick. I got to anoint you. I got to anoint you. I got to anoint you. Just line up right across here. Just line up right across here. Whoever this word was for, you felt the Holy Ghost ministering to you. Now let me tell you who else I want to come up. There are some people that need a, now I know some of y'all need a financial breakthrough. But there's some people you need more than what money can do for you right now. You need a spiritual breakthrough. Come line up right across here. The devil don't care about your money if he got your spirit. He don't care about your money. Because you can have all the money in the world. Just ask some of these billionaires and ask them how happy they are. Oh! I'm going to anoint you. This is your first anointing for 2023. And this is an anointing for spiritual healing. Somebody say spiritual healing. See, before I need anything else, I need to get a spiritual breakthrough. A spiritual breakthrough. Just land it right across here. Because see, if I get my spiritual breakthrough, everything else gonna follow. 
Y'all not listening to me. Everything else follows. Everything else follows. Goodness and mercy going to do what? I can't hear you. Follow me all the days of my life. But I got to make sure my heart is right. I got to make sure. Because see, the enemy tries to crush your spirit. He tries to crush your heart. He tries to crush. Before you take your seat, you're going to go here and get a vial of oil that I've already anointed. I'm going to give you instructions in the morning at 6 o'clock what I want you to do. But the first thing I want you to do right now is before you go in your house, take that oil and anoint the top of your doorpost of the, of the door that you go in. Just anoint that doorpost. Everybody do that. Then tomorrow I'm going to give you more instructions. Hold those hands up. Come on, give me some music. Help me out, praise team. Uh, oh, no, 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 shot. I'm going to touch you real quickly. Hallelujah. Oh, no, no, shot. We got oil? We got oil on both sides. So you go to one side and get your oil before you go back to your seat. But Lord told me to anoint your soul. Anoint your soul. Anoint your soul. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and he has anointed me to preach what you heard. That preaching heals broken hearts heals broken hearts crushed souls crushed spirits i felt the holy ghost connecting with you as i was preaching i know we want to get out of here but the holy ghost the spirit of the lord is upon me i'm going to anoint you right now in the name of jesus this is a spiritual breakthrough anointing Sister, I release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You smile, but I feel a spirit of depression. It is gone. It is bound right now. When I anoint you, there's going to be a release that comes off of you. Satan's been wearing you down and wearing you down and holding you down. But when I touch you, it's going to be gone. You're going to be released in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Real quickly. Real quickly. Hallelujah. Prosperous year. Lord, touch the soul. Lord, bless my daughter right now in the name of Jesus. As I anoint this man. Man, I keep seeing. I don't know why. But I keep seeing you minister. And I'm not talking about my name. I see you ministering. I see you leading young men. I see you leading. I see you being an answer that God has been. Hallelujah. I got a question. God told me just now. You are the answer. Oh, Ha, ha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Real quickly, in the name of Bless in the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody just hold those hands up. Y'all hold those hands up real quickly. Father, right now, be released. Right now, be released. Sister, hallelujah. God keeps leading me to you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God keeps leading me to you. Hallelujah. 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 You heard a message this earlier today. There was a message earlier today about a man that was attacked. I know I got to move quickly, but y'all just stay with me. God told me to minister to somebody. I got to minister to her. I got to minister to her. And he said the reason why he was attacked was because the devil knew his assignment and he wanted to stop it. There is an assignment in your life, but God ain't going to let the devil have you. God ain't going to let him. God ain't going to let him. God's not going to let him. Total healing in 2023. Total healing in 2023. God sent you here, sister. God sent you here. God sent you here. I saw a whole lot of tears in 2022. I see you saying, okay, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. God says you're done with it. God says you're done with it. God says you're done with it. God, oh, somebody ought to praise God right here. Somebody ought to praise God. Somebody ought to praise God. That sister is released. That sister is released. Hallelujah. Oh, hold on, oh, shah. Thank you for being obedient. God says obedience is better than the sacrifice because of your obedience. This is a great year for you. This is a breakthrough year for you. This is a breakthrough. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Hallelujah. God says, I hear Galatians 6 and 9. Let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. God says, don't you dare faint because you're going to have a breakthrough. Oh, shout. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be released. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm speaking. God said, you ain't going to have to worry about money. I'm going to get your soul right. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Hallelujah. God sent you here tonight. There was a word for you tonight. There was a word for you tonight. God says, let that word take root in your heart. In Jesus' name. Hold those hands up. Father, I thank you for this sister. I thank you for sending her here. I thank you, Lord, for healing her heart. Be healed, Lord. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Holly, you've been going through something for three years. Not no more in this next year. Be healed. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm anointing your leadership to lead even more, to lead even greater, to touch women all across this region in the name of... Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, Lord. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I started something this year. I'm going to finish it in this year coming up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift those hands up, our sister. Hallelujah. Lift those hands up. Hallelujah. God says, that part about being in the valley was never about you. It was about the bones around you. Oh, hey! No, 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 sure. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Be released. Be healed in your soul. Be released. Be healed in your soul. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you. The Spirit of the Lord heal you, sister. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't know you, but I know God sent you here to receive that word. Be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Bless my sister in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, bless. Be healed. Lord, I'm touching you, my mother. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Sister, God got you. God says, I got you. I always had you, and I got you right now. Let me bless you. Lift those hands up, sister. Father, touch my sister. Release our heart, release our soul in Jesus' name. Bless this one. Bless me. Bless this one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You came for your soul, but I'm going to heal your body. You came for your soul, but I'm going to heal your body. Yeah. Hey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord come upon you. 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 Lord, bless this young man. Bless this young man. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up real quick, real quick, real quick. I want you all to just come down this line. Let me tell you who I want to come first. Everybody in the building, hold those hands up. Everybody in the building, hold those hands up. I want you to pray the first prayer of salvation for 2023. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Say, Lord, I believe you are the Son of God. You died for my sins and you rose again. This day, I receive salvation. Say, 2022, I'm done with you. All that mess, all that sin, we're leaving that behind. I'm going into this new year free, delivered. I'm going into this new year victorious in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. As I call, bring me down. Y'all keep going. As I call up various things, if I haven't anointed you, I want you to come up. I'm going to anoint you quickly. You go to the left side or the right side. They have oil for you to take with you. Hallelujah. I want to bless some people right now, just real quickly. Now, do not miss my workshop next Wednesday, but I want to bless some people for financial miracles. Financial miracles. You need something that you ain't know how you're going to do it. Come up here real quickly. I'm just going to touch you. 
in the name of Jesus. Just come through this line real quickly. It, I don't know, it may be your job, it may be your career. Come on, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly. Lord, I'm anointing you. You can go to the left or the right. Lord, I'm anointing right now. This is my breakthrough financial year. Somebody that needs to get debt free, make sure I anoint you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. After I do this, I'm going to bless those that need physical healings in their body. Lord, bless. Lord, touch. Hallelujah. I see increase. Yeah, Hadarosha. I see increase. I see increase all around me. All around me. All around me. Increase. Finances. Bless, Lord. Touch, Lord. Heal, Lord. Deliver, Lord. Set free. This is my new year, my new season. Who in here? Listen to me. Who in here? want to be able to give more to God than they've ever given in their life. I'm going to anoint you for that as I'm talking about these finances. Don't take God's money and not give him his tithes. God's going to bless you to give more than you've ever given. God, stop me with you right here. Hallelujah. You're going to walk into miracle stuff. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on real quick. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, thank you for my mother. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Come on real quickly. Lord, I touch you. I anoint you. I anoint businesses. I anoint careers. In the name of Jesus. Lift those hands up, sister. Hallelujah. There's a sweet spirit in you. I don't know you, but I know God sent you here to get this word. And it's more than about finances. It's about your soul. I anoint you for greatness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me touch you. Let me anoint you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you're not in line, I want you to get in line real quickly. I'm going to taunt you. Those of you that may need a touch for their physical bodies, only your physical healings, in the name name of Jesus. Oh my God. In the, oh, hold on, oh, shot. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who's believing God for a house in 2023? Raise your hand. Who's believing God for a house? Father, right now, you said we will live in houses that we did not build. I ask you to open up doors. God says, I don't care what the economy says. I'm going to do it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord. Prosper. Y'all, did y'all bring y'all cards? Did y'all bring y'all cards? Uh, uh, what are we doing with them? Okay, all right. Make sure you bring your cards. I need to have those by the night. If you don't, if you didn't bring them up earlier, put them on the altar. But make sure I get your cards. In the name of Jesus, touch this brother. Touch this young lady. Hallelujah. Bless this family. In the name of Jesus. Real quickly, real quickly. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I thank you. Hey, hasha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I see God saying, eyes have not seen, ears haven't heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for them. Hallelujah. Somebody say, new year, new blessings, new healings. New miracles, new doors, new opportunities. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on. Come on. This is your season. This is your year. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Touch. Be healed. Be delivered. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The Spirit of the Lord. Lord, be healed. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I touch you. I bless you. The Spirit of the Lord anoints you. The Spirit of the Lord heals you. Hallelujah. Bless in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ha, ha, ya, ya, ya. Thank God for this family. Thank God in the name of Jesus. The Lord touch your money. The Lord touch your resources. The Lord touch you. Bless you. Yes, Lord. Have I touched everyone? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heal your body. Hallelujah. Bless you with opportunities. The Spirit of the Lord come upon you. Have I touched everybody? 
Where I've been touched you. Make sure I anoint you. In the name of everybody stand up. Oh, Lord, I touch this child in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, watch over him. Lord, watch over this man. Hallelujah. Everybody stand. We're getting ready to go home. Everybody is standing. Everybody is standing. Have I touched everybody? Have I anointed everybody? Everybody is standing. We're going to do our benediction together. Ushers are coming. Hospitality workers are coming. I want to anoint everybody for the new year. I want to anoint everybody for the new year. Preachers, leaders, make sure I anoint you. Make sure I anoint you. Let me give you all in final instructions. Yeah, ha, ha, do, 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 cha. Have I touched everyone? Have I anointed everyone? Ha, 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 do, do, cha. Every worker, every leader. Hallelujah. Everybody's been healed. Did you get your oil? Ah, shut up. Lord, touch these leaders. Touch these praise and worship leaders. In the name of Jesus. 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 Ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Hallelujah. Y'all ready for a great year? Are you ready for an anointed year? Are you ready for a blessed year? Somebody give God a great big Shabbat praise right there. A 2023 praise. I can't hear you. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Hey! Say this with me as we close. This is my year to rebuild to revive and to restore and say it is done right now happy new year come on give god a praise say it with me don't just live life live a victorious life and have an amazing year. Give him a praise. You are dismissed.